Welcome to my 7th annual Boycott Black Friday video slash support Plaid Friday. Wow, 7. So every year on this day I put out a video where I have a project that is designed for you to make things for people you love and care about rather than buying garbage. And um, it's also, I was thinking about it, like there's a lot of times with those people you get gifts for that you don't really know what they want, but you feel like you need to get them a gift, and so you just buy something. And So I just came up with a very simple project that is it's either an ornament, or it's a coaster, or it's whatever your imagination really uh, wants it to be. But what's special about this year is, is it's part of a two-part video series that I did in conjunction with Vectric Software. The other video is on their channel, where I have a bi-monthly series where I make projects that are available to Vectric users to download and make. So this year I did this for them but we made the project in their least expensive software and we made the files downloadable so anybody could download a trial version of the vector software and actually cut these out I thought that was really cool of them to be willing to do that with me so go check out their channel that's the main version of the video but I wanted to give more to people that don't have CNC machines so on this channel is the rest of the build I took those same files and I converted them so you can make them on a 3d printer but you don't have a 3D printer? Okay, then I converted them so you can make them on a laser. But you don't have a laser? Okay, I did them on the scroll saw too. And if you only have a coping saw, you can just do them like I did on the scroll saw by hand. Uh, without further ado, check it out. It'll all make sense. The other half of this series on the Vector channel goes into much more detail about how I created the CNC files. So basically, I found some free vectors of some snowflakes online, and I imported them into the software and made... Uh, some different variations of the way you could cut them, like sometimes on the inside, sometimes on the outside. Uh, if you're interested in that sort of stuff, definitely go check out the other video. I go into a lot more depth. But so when I was done creating these files, I also exported them as PDFs, so you could just print them out on paper, which is where we will pick up this build. This is a weird looking CNC machine. Why is there a man wearing a hula dress on top of it? That's my Jimmy Duresta hula doll. Uh, I have a video about that if you want to watch it. I'll put a link up. So uh, I just used some spray glue to stick these patterns onto pieces of reclaimed holocore door skin because holocore doors are the new palette, of course, and they're nice and thin and perfect uh, fodder for the scroll saw. I don't have a lot of experience scroll sawing, um, especially since I got the CNC, I stopped using the scroll saw. So this was kind of fun for me to try and see if I could still do a decent cut on a scroll saw. And uh, I'm sure if I used it more, I would be better at it. But I did okay. I only did a couple of these simpler patterns to make life a little easier for me. And you can see I'm using a pretty big blade here to do the bulk of the cutting because um, I'm more confident with the larger blade and uh, it's a little bit quicker. And then I do switch to a smaller blade in for doing some of the smaller, more detailed cuts. I'm sorry, I don't know the TPI or any of that stuff for these, but the first blade I was using was sort of the most aggressive one I've seen for the scroll saw, and now this one I'm using is definitely the finest one that I've seen for the scroll saw. My machine is a little old and out of tune, so it was a little difficult keeping that small blade tight and straight, and I'm a little old and out of tune, so <laughs> it was uh, you know, definitely a lot slower going and a uh, little harder for me to use this skinny blade, but I did okay. This is just a little bit of mineral spirits that I use to break up the spray glue and peel the paper off of the final product. I lightly sanded them and applied a little bit of Total Boat uh, low VOC Halcyon finish to them and uh, they came out not bad. I was um, pleased with my scroll sawing for how long I've it's been since I've done it but uh, I definitely need improvement now let's move on to the laser I have this mystery acrylic cutoff from a local sign company it was a misprint and you can see I was able to just scrape off the vinyl letters and then put this acrylic right into my laser I used the same PDF that I just printed to import into my laser software and create a cutting path for the laser now, I don't know what this material is exactly that I'm using, but you can see it sort of discolors and burns um, 
unlike regular acrylic. So I did my best to clean it up and make it look, you know, okay. But I wanted to give it another go, so I found an acrylic cutoff of a more typical type of acrylic that was just scrapped from a job, uh, and I tried again. This acrylic still had the protective shield on both sides for the most part, so I was able to pull it off and you can see it cut much better and that little burn spot you see on the back there is actually on the protective layer so it peels right off. As you can see, this is a uh, frosted acrylic, not a crystal clear, so you can actually see these ornaments a little bit. I think if it were clear, you would they would just sort of disappear. And I, like, it was just a, a cutoff that I had, so that worked out really well. And now let's move on to the 3D printer. I recently acquired a 3D printer from Maker Made CNC. They also make these really nice, uh, fairly large 3D printers, and I'm just learning how to use them. So this was my first project that I actually designed and not that I just, you know, downloaded from the internet. So I took the Snowflake files that I had created in Vectrix Cut 2D and I imported them into Aspire where I then made them a 3D model at just about a quarter inch thick. Uh, and then I was able to save that as an STL file which I was then able to import into the 3D printer world. And uh, they came out really good. I was really pleased with uh, how well my first model went, which is a very simple model of course, but it worked and uh, I, they came out really well and uh, I was pretty impressed by that printer's ability. I do have future goals for my 3D printer uh, to not just use plastic but to try and find some you know, recycled plastic filaments and uh, try to use it for good instead of evil, not just creating bl plastic garbage. But uh, So here you can see all the final pieces. There's the first were the doors I did by hand. Here are some of the lasered acrylic and the odd acrylic that I don't really know what that stuff was. Um, and then of course my 3D printed models which uh, like I said I'm super happy with. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, but please go over to Vectric's channel. I left links everywhere and check out the other video that's in this series. You can download the files there and you can download the trial versions of the software and experiment with it and just kind of play around and check it out. You might learn something um, and you might have fun, you know. Uh, again, thank you very much. Let's avoid unnecessary buying of plastic garbage. <laughs> and, and as always, be good. Happy holidays. Happy 2019. Even better 2020. Did I say be good? Yeah, I think I said that. <laughs>